It's 11 a.m. on a Sunday, and my place is a mu- <laughs> And my place is a mess. Like, bad. <laughs> like, real, real bad. bad. It's, it's real, real bad. bad. I love Sundays. No matter how lazy or messy I was during the week, what I do on Sundays turns my trash into- <laughs> But first, this is how my day started. <laughs> I was trying to show y'all that I didn't have any water. Thankfully, I didn't break it. It was all good, just took a while to fix. And after that, I definitely needed my morning meditation. <laughs> Breakfast. I got some avocado on toast muffins. Avocado is like my favorite food. But okay, now it's time to get after the day and start my routines. I have three crucial parts to my Sunday. And part one is the clean. Over the course of the week, my place gets messy. And that's not good. For me, a cluttered room is a cluttered mind and a clean environment helps foster the right mind space I need to be to tackle my projects and do my creative work. Now today, cleaning did take a lot longer than expected, but after three hours, I was finally finished. Ooh, that took a while. <laughs> And now it's time for part two of my Sunday routine, the meal prep. Bonjour, c'est mou mon mai ratatouille, donc je parle François. D'accord. À mon avis, le ravioli et la préparation, s'il vous plaît, et Jacques Soufali. Jean-Claude Van Damme et Inspector Clouseau. C'est le voir fois à garner de tempé, de la voir regarder et la porte à sortir. À mon avis, la seconde à garner de tempé. C'est le voie sorti de santé. À mon avis, la préparation, donc je la parlais. De la voie regarder et la porte en sortie. Et voilà! Et mille inoables en espagnol de Chef Boyardi. <rire> Pardon à pour parler et euh, merci. Uh, pour la François l'espagnol de uh, yeah, si. Oui, oui. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's like really late. Close to not even being Sunday anymore. It is what it is. I just finished my weekly review and planning, and that is the last and most important step for my Sunday routine. I do my weekly routine in Notion, and Notion is like this limitless note-taking productivity app that is really powerful. I do want to say though that my Notion system and weekly review is basically the same as August Bradley's. I basically copied his system into mine and learned a whole bunch about Notion from his videos. So I'm going to link them uh, and I highly recommend you check them out. But without further ado, let's jump into my weekly review. Oh, that rhymed. Hold up. Hold up. A little YouTube action going on here. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, guys, so this is my weekly review. I'm just going to go by really fast just so you get an idea. Because I really highly recommend that you implement some form of ref weekly reflection and weekly planning because it'll really just make your focus and output much more efficient on whatever goals you want to achieve. It starts off pretty simple, right? Like what month are we in? What's the dates? Uh, in the week before, I talk about like my objectives and what I want to focus on. 
And then today I did what I was grateful for. My effectiveness wasn't too good this week, if I'm being honest. Uh, improvement suggestions that I could do, be better on. So every day I track my uh, tasks and habits. These are the, those pages for each day. So like if we go to like what February 2nd was, we could see like this is what I typed in that day when I went to sleep, when I woke up, uh, my diet of the day, uh, my improvements, what I was grateful for. I was grateful for Kaylee that day. Um, and so that all gets rolled up here and uh, I see my sleep average for the week and output. But okay, so keep it rolling. Uh, this is the image of the week. This is what like in one image represents what this week was for me. Everything highlighted in red I skipped because I didn't have enough time. So I didn't have enough time to do this. So all those tasks that I told y'all about, um, I, uh, I get to see all the week's tasks that I put in my day-to-day -day to do list all rolled up here. It's like a great reflection of what I did this week, what I didn't do, what I need to do, you know? And it's really powerful and really useful. Then I have some reflections like what were the good moments this week or the low points, what I learned this week. And then I have like a checklist of things to do to keep everything in order. like check my emails, make sure I don't have anything in starred that I need to do. Or I check my calendar and I review my calendar and add new dates that need to be put in. Um, so this part is basically just uh, reviewing my projects and making sure that each project has a to-do list item so that I could keep progressing with that project. I skipped my organization part because it's it's not even Sunday anymore. And here are my upcoming meal prep. Food that I'm gonna make. <laughs> Look guys, it's late. I'm a little, I'm a little fried. Uh, but you get the idea. Like this is what I will be meal prepping in the future in, in an easy schedule. And this is my grocery list of things I need or that I'm gonna run out soon. And shoot, man, I sped through it because that's it. I didn't do this. Uh, there's some other stuff that I didn't do that is really cool. Like the process physical inbox is basically like, all the sticky notes that I write. Um, I, um, I like implement it somewhere in my notion system just so it's like logged and I could throw this away. But I skipped that this week. We'll be doing that soon. I kind of rambled a lot right there, but basically it's, I'm just really trying to show you like this Notion thing is no joke. It is super useful and it completes my Sunday day of preparation. Okay, that's that. Uh, let's zoom out for for the end here. Uh, that's that's basically my Sunday. That's that's everything. I hope you guys found it entertaining or found this video somewhat useful because I think there's a lot of things in here that could be applied in your own Sunday or weekly ritual. But regardless, I wanna say thank you for getting to this point in the video. Uh, I will be getting better at this YouTube thing, I promise. I need to go to bed, all right, it's too late. So again, just thank you for being here and there's gonna be more videos on the way very soon. So stay healthy, stay good, and peace out.